my great pleasure to introduce Vivek Rana Dive. He is the founder, chairman, and CEO of a great company, Tipco. The company doesn't need any introduction, but Vivek, welcome. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, people always get inspired and motivated when they hear people like you come to huge conferences like Tycon and inspire them. Um, want to ask you, as a seasoned entrepreneur with a huge company, how do other entrepreneurs who want to get inspired by you should face the current crisis? Well, they should look at the current crisis uh, as an opportunity uh, because there's an abundance of very talented people out there. And companies are desperate for ways uh, to enhance their business models, then cut their costs, increase their customer service. And so companies are hungry for new ideas. Uh, and uh, it's a good time uh, to find customers, really focus on the value proposition, and then to hire really, really smart people uh, to help you. Uh, I myself became an entrepreneur uh, right uh, during the last big financial crisis when the market uh, collapsed 500 points, which at the time was, was a big amount. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think it's as good a time as any to become a model. You know, larger corporations like yours uh, also take hits, uh, not just the startups. But you have weathered the storm uh, before. This is not the first time. Uh, want to understand, you know, how you, as a seasoned entrepreneur with a big corporation, face these challenges personally? Well, we uh, anticipated that uh, the climate was uh, going to be uh, unpredictable. Uh, so we tightened our belts uh, proactively. Uh, and uh, we continued investments in technology and in uh, our sales force and our field organization. So we felt that this would actually be a good time uh, to expand coverage create more products, uh, but cut back on uh, areas that uh, you could cut back. Uh, so we uh, took a, uh, everyone took a small pay cut, uh, and uh, we tightened our belts and we cut our cuts, and then said, but the areas where we do want to keep investing, uh, and we were able to, uh, to do that. Having seen similar storms before, uh, we knew that uh, if we acted quickly and proactively, we would be in a better position uh, when things started improving. We would have better products, new products, more coverage, uh, and we'd be ready to pounce on the opportunity. You know, uh, there's a new mantra out there, and we keep hearing that this is the good times for entrepreneurs to start. So a lot of professionals have been sitting on the fence, hoping one day to be an entrepreneur. Uh, they want to take a jump and say, you know, maybe this is a good time to jump. So that's not a good advice. So there has to be some serious work done before they jump into it. Um, the scenario hasn't changed since you started a long time ago. The fundamentals remain the same, regardless of what economy we are facing. Uh, I think it's good to reiterate those facts. So there are some fundamental ground rules for an entrepreneur. Uh, you know, so I wanted your impression about that. Well, if you have a compelling idea and a compelling value proposition, uh, then uh, it doesn't matter when you do it. Uh, so it, it's not more so in an in a up environment or a down environment. Uh, in fact, uh, sometimes when things are going well, it's deceptive. Uh, you know, we used to have a saying that in, in, in a strong wind, even turkeys can fly. And so it hides the turkeys when the wind is so strong. When the wind isn't so strong, then uh, you have to truly... Uh, focus on, on value and you have to show uh, that customers uh, are willing to uh, give you credit for that value. Yeah. When times are good, I want to understand at what stage of growth do you stop being a manager and become a leader? Well, I believe that uh, everyone should be a leader, not a manager. I'm more in favor of the leadership model. To me, the word manager conjures up images of, of a bureaucracy and excessive process. Uh, and I think of modern business more as, as jazz. So if you think of old the old model as a Sousa marching band, where you have a manager right. who is making everyone march to, a, to the same beat, then 
in the modern era, you, you have a, a leader, a jazz conductor, and he gets very, very talented people around him. And he lets each of them feel like they're doing their own thing. Uh, and the way that he provides leadership is to make it all come together as music. So I believe more in the leadership model than in the management model. Okay. Thank you.